Hello everyone and I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to another fantasy match preview. This is going to be for the third ODI between New Zealand and India and I have Nikhil Bhai with us today to carry you through this preview and give you lots of insights and we have a series of previews going to be coming through for you. So stay tuned for that. Yes, uh, firstly thank you to all of you for watching our content and always giving constructive feedback. So thank you very much for that because you are and we are here. और इसी के लिए फैन टू प्ले का भी थैंक्स यस दे ट्रस्टेड अस अगेन एंड यस द पॉइंट इज टू गेट यू गुड इनफ कंटेंट जो आप अपने टीम्स में यूज करें एवरीबॉडी बेनिफिट्स सो नथिंग नथिंग रॉन्ग इन दैट यस एब्सोल्युटली एंड ऑन दैट पॉजिटिव नोट लेट्स फर्स्ट अप स्टार्ट एंड लुक एट व्हाट आर गोइंग टू बी द प्रोस्पेक्टिव वेन्यू कंडीशंस फॉर द डे So the game is going to be played at Christchurch, and at Christchurch, while there are a lot of interesting observations to start off, the key thing you can keep in mind is that there is some movement and help up front, and from the forecast that we have seen, there can be some rain before that, so some moisture in the pitch can also help. Nikhil, by what do you feel? What kind of players is this actually going to suit? So New Zealand typically you do see movement with the new ball sometimes in both mm. innings as well, so uh, that I don't think will change. Uh, mm. Both conditions will in. In madness depend करेगा क्योंकि rain कितना है. Now some forecast is saying that the rain will clear up by the time the match starts. Some says the match hmm. the there will be rain right through from the second innings maybe. So in in any case I feel the team winning the toss will want to bowl क्योंकि you will not want hmm. to bat in conditions like those क्या आ रहे हो जा रहे. So I think the team that bowls first might have that advantage. Uh, but again if it clears up and then you have a massive score then the uh, game becomes very good for the second innings. So इसके लिए Fan to play, second innings fantasy, खेलना है ना बोले। Again, these are the games where you can find value once you know the conditions. तो conditions नहीं पता तो मत खेलो। पर conditions पता चल रहा है, तो best time to try it. Yes, if you are waking up at 7 a.m., then you ought to play two innings and make double profit. But yes, yeah. two key things that we have seen here. One is Matt Henry is the highest wicket taker yeah. on this ground, so he can play a key role. And second thing that we've seen across the BBL is that because dimensions are still small, like in all New Zealand grounds, we've seen that teams rack up yeah. a score in the first innings and then there's a second innings collapse. So these are yeah. two GL scenarios for you to keep in mind when you make your. And now let's look at what base team we have tuned in for you. So the base team. Before we get to the base team, one key piece of information that I like to give to all of you is that this is going to be the last day on the fan to play India versus New Zealand leaderboard. So ensure that you cash in there because these rewards are not going to come back, and you have the leaderboard contest. So ensure that you participate there too. Like you can see the leaderboard contest in front of you. And now let's look at the base team that we picked up. So for the keeping section and keeping section, I think Devin Conway and Tom Latham become obvious choices. Nikhil, by any inputs here on anybody who you'd like to pick or leave? Sanjay Samson, I'd love to pick, uh, but at at this point in time, even India are not picking, so I don't know if I can <laughs> pick them. So that is one pain point. But uh, Rishabh, his ODI numbers are not a problem. Is the reason for so uh, proper Grand League option for you to try out. For now, I think no questions with Tom Latham and Conway. Right. So that on the batting section, Devon Conway and Tom Latham. Now we look at the batting section. So in the batting section, we have Shreya. Nikhil, why tell us your thoughts on this? Is there anyone else that you'd like to pick apart from these guys? I think uh, there is a very good temptation to take the three openers that are listed together, uh, but again, it's it's going to be a call hmm. based on conditions. If you feel that no, uh, early swing will not be so much, if one opener will go, then you can take a punt on that. It could be Dhawan, it could be Gill, it could be anyone. So that is a call that you can take for now. Hmm. We've assumed that India are batting first, and there will be movement, and which is why we have not possibly included both these openers in the base team. But if you chase Kohli, India. So I think Gill then becomes a very good option for you to try out, and even Shikhar. But it's just about rhythm with Shikhar. I think in the last game, he rained off. He came back wanting to hit. So it's a different topic. So yes, any of these openers, if you feel that they'll come good, 
apart from the current the conditions aspect yes and don't forget finale neither he seems to have found a yeah. way to leave balls and play drives rather than the lofts and the swaps so maybe there's something in store for him now let's look at the all rounders that we've picked in this game so two key all rounders like you can see again we have gone with deepak hudda and wasli from the closet of nikhil bhai's gl picks so nikhil bhai will tell you more about how and why uh, see the common threat or the uh, common option will definitely be michel santna uh, purely because of the kind of game and the role that he plays but i feel if india are to do well and because i'm expecting early wickets to fall i expect india bat better in the middle overs hmm. so ye dekhiye jab bhi hum team banate hain visualization ko back karte hain to aisa nahi bol aise nahi kar rahe hum log क्या हम बोल रहे हैं कि अर्ली मूवमेंट होगी तो हमने ओपनर भी पिक करे और मिडिल ऑर्डर के ऑप्शन भी पिक करे और नया वाला ओपनर भी पिक कर बोलर भी पिक कर लिया तो नहीं जब गोइंग बाय वन विजुलाइजेशन तो जहाँ पे इंडिया की अर्ली विकेट जाएंगी तो मिडिल ओवर्स में रन बनेंगे इसके लिए आपके श्रेयस को पिक किया सूर्य को पिक किया और यहाँ से आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग देम टू टेक केयर ऑफ सेंटर विच इज वाई आई प्रॉब्ली फील दैट दीपक उड एंड सुंदर वुड बी वेरी गुड ऑप्शन सुंदर से आप सुंदर परफॉर्मेंस एक्सपेक्ट करते हो विद बैट एंड बॉल दोनों बट ज्यादा बड़ा भी नहीं चाहिए चालीस रन और एक दो विकेट भी बहुत है आपके लिए इन इन ओडिया दीपक हुडा आई थिंक प्लेज अ वेरी क्रूशियल रोल स्पेशली क्योंकि अगर संजू नहीं खेल रहे फॉर हिम तो देन ही हैज टू बी यूज बेटर ओनली देन इट इज वर्थ रिवॉर्डिंग तो यस दोज आर दॉजिक दैट्स द लॉजिक बी एंड दोज टू right and finally from the bowling section we have gone with pretty versus here we have gone with tim saudi locky ferguson and deepak chahar and matt honry because of that upfront movement so nikhil bhai what do you think is there anyone additional that you would like to pick from here or is that it for you uh, again jaise humne pehle baat kari hai we are assuming that new zealand will bowl first so humne new zealand ke dono extra pacer le liye in henry एंड फर्गसन पर अगर आपको लगता है कि नहीं इंडिया पहले बोलिंग करेगी और उमरान और अशदीप वो काम करेंगे जो हम न्यूजीलैंड से कर रहे हैं यू कूड इजिली सॉप दम आउट फॉर दोज टू तो अगेन इट्स एंटायरली गोइंग टू बी ऑन द कंडीशन एंड योर विजुलाइजेशन अभी के लिए इस कंडीशन के साथ आई थिंक दिस इज स्टिल फाइट दीपक चेयर को लिया है क्योंकि मुझे लगता है कि वो सेकेंड इंस में भी एक विकेट तो नीचे लेके जा सकते हैं तो दैट इज अ कॉल दैट यू कैन टेक पहले बोलिंग करते समय आप उनको ज्यादा बड़ा रोल भी दे सकते हो तो that's a call that you can take based on the conditions so yes abhi ke liye i think this is probably a safer option right absolutely so let's look at what the final base team looks like and like we have been yeah. saying through the world cup form is the key and in nikhil bhai's mm-hmm. words form se must nahi so we have gone with tim saudi as captain and kane williamson as vice captain because he is going to be able to play stably and give you a good amount yeah Round of points. So, of the team for you for this specific game. Yep. Now let's look at what are your best grand league options choice that all of you are always waiting to look at. Mm-hmm. So now we have the grand league picks for this game. So first up, let's start with Nikhil Bai's two grand league picks for this one. Uh, the first one will be the Deepaks from India. uh deepak chair deepak uta all the explain the reasons for uh, for the for what i'm backing them in grandly deepak uta early wickets proper time in the middle hmm. to get a very good score he could be very handy deepak chair new ball value and he could also bat so uh, it may not sound much but he's won india few games with the bat so that is in any which way is uh, a very good omen to have so waisa all rounder aapke liye kafi important ho sakta hai so deepak's from the india And from New Zealand, if they bowl first, I think Matt Henry is going to be a very uh, common option as well. But I think it's a good Grand League, Grand League pick to try. Yes, absolutely. My two Grand League picks for this game: Mitchell Santner, like I mentioned during the base team, I was pretty tempted to pick him. And if he's bowling second, I think I'll surely pick him. No. And as far as India is concerned, I'm going to go with Rishabh Pant, which is totally an instinct based pick, not based on form or any other such. Leave I feel like he can come good, so hence he is my pick from India. Fair call, fair call. So we hope that all of you enjoyed this preview. Do share your picks too in the comment section. Who do you feel is going to be 
your man the match from the specific teams and we hope that all of you have a great game all the good luck to you all the good luck guys happy winnings winning is already gone